Rabbits, it's Trixie, and for today's video, I have a very special guest. Meet my seven weeks old daughter, the Tiny Bunny. She was born in the middle of March, and since then, I cannot really go anywhere without her. This is why this is the only way I can make a video at the moment. Ah, but I cannot see her boobs like that. Seriously. Tiny Bunny still sleeps a lot, so you won't hear much from her except snoring, smacking, and maybe squeaking. But she has a very important job here anyway. She adds something that is crucial for today's episode. An insane amount of cuteness. Which is what this video is going to be dealing with. I'm going to teach you eight German words for adorable, making this the cutest German lesson mankind has ever seen. The first two words are the ones that you will hear most often. There's niedlich and there is süß. While the only translation for niedlich is cute or adorable, süß is more similar to the English sweet. One of its meanings is cute as well. The other one is, well, sweet, but in the sense of a sweet flavor. So I can say both. Das Baby is süß. And mm, die Schokolade ist süß referring to either the appearance or the taste of something. To top it off, you can also say zuckersüß, sugar sweet, sweet as sugar. However, I can't say mmm, die Schokolade ist niedlich, unless it looks like this. Another word that Germans may use is herzig, literally meaning hearty. Someone or something is so adorable that it makes your heart melt. You can imagine that looking at this sweetie pie every day has turned my heart into nothing but a puddle of love. Ah, no one wants to hear that. Please keep your personal feelings off of this channel, okay? Educate us, entertain us, but don't act human. That's gross. Sorry. Moving on. Next, let's talk about goldig. Goldy or something like golden. I couldn't find much on the origin of this word, except that it's related to das Gold, the gold, which was kind of... Duh. So my assumption is that it simply means that something is so adorable or so lovely that it's worth pure gold. Also, gold is very shiny and the eyes of a small animal or a cute child may sparkle too, so there you go. The next adjective always reminds me of der Troll, the troll, or the verb trollen, to troll. The word is drollig. It's not actually related to trolls or trolling though. In fact, it derives from the old German word droll, which means knirps, a nickname or insult for a small person. You know that I'm talking about you, right? Like you. Or der Spaßmacher, the fun maker, a jester. So it basically means something like dwarfy or jestery. Hmm, since you're what, five foot four and you make silly jokes all the time, I guess drollig is the perfect adjective for you. Nah, so you're saying I'm cute. No, I actually meant... Oh, stop it, you. Thanks. But I knew you had a good heart. Somewhere inside of there. Now here comes my personal favorite. It's knuffig. I just love the sound of it. It sounds as cute as what it describes. It's connected to the German verb knuffen, which means to softly punch someone in a gentle, teasing way. Like this. Come on, you actually like me. <gasps> what have I done? Another word that doesn't sound cute at all if you don't know its origin is putzig. Putzig instantly reminds me of putzen, to clean, which I'm doing a lot these days. Having two kids is like having a tornado in your house. Or der putz, the plaster. You know, this exciting kind of thing. Yay, let's all stare at a wall together. High quality content. Both things, both things, both things, th 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 th. I'd consider neither of these things adorable. Wow, der Putz. Never seen something so cute before. You get what I mean? I'm gonna stop showing you that wall now. I lied, here it is again. Sorry, sorry, back to topic. Putz and Putz and Putzig don't actually have the same roots. Instead, putzig originates from der Putz, which is an old German word for the kobold, mostly referred to as a goblin in English. So if you call somebody putzig, you pretty much say that they look koboldy or gobliny, which is very useful to know, I think. I mean, not all babies are as cute as this one. What if a German friend chose their newborn to you saying, ah, oh, is this nicht süß? And it looks more like a mole rat, der Nacktmull, 
rather than a human being. Now you know what to say. Neither lying nor insulting somebody. Oh yeah, putzig. And last but not least, there is schnuckelig. Yes, you have to make this movement. Schnuckelig. Imagine a grandma pulling your cheeks. Schnuckelig. This word is based on the slang term schnucken, which is related to an etwas nucken to suck something. <gasps> no, don't even think about it. There are children present. <laughs> but it describes to suck in a cute fashion, like a baby sucking a pacifier. I guess we can all agree that that's super cute. Same as in English, some of these words can also mean cute in the sense of attractive. This mostly applies to süß, niedlich and schnuckelig. So in case you want to tell your German friend about this channel, repeat after me. Don't trust the rabbit is der beste YouTube-Kanal der Welt. Trixi ist unglaublich süß, unfassbar niedlich und extrem schnuckelig. There you go. You're welcome. All right, rabbits, I hope you liked meeting the tiny bunny and you enjoyed this video. Did you know these eight German words already or did I teach you something new? If you liked this episode, please leave a thumbs up because that would make tiny bunny and me very, very happy. If you're sad that this video is over now and you want more Don't Trust the Rabbit, then why not follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook? Also here is a video that you should definitely check out. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit, activate the bell if you want to see more videos like this one and if you want to support my channel even a bit more, then you can also find me on Patreon. I would really appreciate your help. Just one more thing to say. Hab einen wunderschönen, knuffigen, schnuckeligen Tag. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!